has, let's say, a troubled history with World War II, just like Germany. We get it. It's a great setting for a game. But the problem is, at this point, we've reviewed enough games set between 1939 and 1945 to wrap our entire building in their game manuals, Jean-Claude and Christo style. That's why I was less than thrilled to review Operation Darkness for our Made in Japan segment. It's your typical uninspired tactical turn-based battle between the Axis and the Allies. Boring. Hey, there's the ever-present Panzer tank. Oh look, there's the plucky British regiment. Gosh, there's the same old Nazi brigade rising from the dead as unstoppable zombies. Wait, what? Yes, it seems like the real reason the Nazis were so evil wasn't all that European land-grabbing xenophobia, but their ability to harness the powers of hell itself to forge a relentless army of the undead. Finally, here's a World War II game I can get behind. It seems to be pretty much the usual story. Stuck behind enemy lines, your team of expert British troops has to fight off wave after wave of Germans. Only this time, they don't stay dead. You know, I thought about making a portmanteau of Nazis and zombies, but the only thing I could come up with was not zombies, which sounds like not zombies, but they're clearly zombies. And would you like to know the craziest, kookiest, most outrageous thing about Operation Darkness? It's a Japanese game made exclusively for the Xbox 360. I thought the only people in Japan that had 360s were American expats and electronic store owners who couldn't voice the consoles in the general Japanese public. Think of the amazing voice acting possibilities here. If there's anything funnier than zombies clamoring for brains, it's zombies clamoring for brains in German accents. Brains. Ah, there we go. Zombie Nazis. A concept so crazy it could only have been made in Japan.